Hey Inner Beauties, it's Aria, and welcome back to What's In It Beauty, where we get to the core of skincare. Together, we'll analyze our favorite beauty products, one ingredient at a time, so we can make better informed choices for our well-being, inside and out. Let's discover what's actually in our everyday personal care items on a deeper level, not just for its face value and what it's advertised for. It's time to be aware of the countless chemicals our bodies may be taking in through dermal absorption. And since everyone has a different body burden threshold, we'll never know when potential diseases may start to manifest. Today, we'll look at Origins Drink Up 10-Minute Hydration Mask. This thick and creamy mask not only provides many levels of moisture, but is packed with a bunch of essential oils that's rich in fatty acids that soothes any dry or irritated skin, all in just 10 minutes. Curious about what's in it? Let's find out! Although origins note that this mask is formulated without parabens, phthalates, propylene glycol, mineral oil, paraaminobenzoic acid, petrolatum, paraffin, diethanolamine, synthetic color, synthetic fragrance, and animal ingredients, it is still not perfect as it contains PEG-100 stearate, which is a surfactant used in cosmetics to help blend and stabilize mixtures. PEGs, short for polyethylene glycol, are commonly used as skincare thickeners and moisture carriers, but unfortunately have high contamination concerns of ethylene oxide and 1,4-dioxane, which are known carcinogens. Next, we have polysorbate 60, surfactants that may contain the same carcinogenic impurities mentioned. Polysorbates help other ingredients come together in a solvent in which they would not normally dissolve, and are commonly used in skincare and cleansing products, shampoos, makeup bases and foundations, just to name a few. Phenylxiethanol, a chemical preservative that's used to prolong the shelf life of a product and known to cause contact dermatitis. This ingredient can also act as a stabilizer for perfumes and colognes. Linalool is a naturally occurring terpene alcohol chemical that is commonly used in perfumes and colognes for a unique floral but spicy centric scent. It is also known to cause skin allergies and linked to immunotoxicity. Limonene is another scent ingredient that is extracted from the rind of the citrus fruits. It degrades upon storage and exposure to light and air, making it a strong offender of skin and respiratory allergies. And here are the rest of the low hazard ingredients listed in Origins Drink Up 10 Minute Hydration Mask. So, what are your thoughts? This mask is a decent pick-me-up during the cold and dry winter months when my skin screams for extra hydration. It's also convenient to use on highly stressful work weeks where I have no time and can only spare 10 minutes to pamper myself. This mask is reminiscent of a very thick and heavy lotion, rich and creamy in texture. The white cream applies silky smooth, turns slightly transparent as it's quickly absorbed into the skin, and stays put, allowing me to roam freely. It has a delicate apricot aroma that's quite pleasant, but with hints of a plasticky smell to it as well. Perhaps from the tube that the formulation is housed in, it's also amusing to note that they must be very proud of having apricot kernel oil because it's listed twice on the tube. But I digress. Instructions suggest to tissue or rinse off after 10 minutes, but I personally prefer doing both since this mask does not rinse off easily with just water. The consistency is like a thick mayonnaise that turns into oil as it melts onto the face, so it's not easily dissolvable. That's why I like to wipe it off with soft facial tissues first, then rinse with warm water. You can also just leave it on after tissuing off, but I find it too uncomfortably greasy, so after rinsing with water, I use another wet face cloth to remove any oily residue. And even after tissuing off, rinsing, and wiping with a wet cloth, there's still a thin film of product that remains on the skin, which I can finally tolerate as it smooths out the drier regions of my face. Origins recommend this mask for combo, very dry, or mature skin, 
And with me being combo, I found this mask a bit too greasy for my liking, so I've resorted to only using it on the problematic areas of my face, like on my cheeks, where it's exceptionally drier during the winter months. I really have mixed feelings because although it does a decent job soothing my dry patches, I really don't enjoy the greasy process in order to get there. I can get the same results by simply putting on a night cream or use a face oil, like organic rosehip oil, without actually feeling greasy. I've also used this for about two months now and haven't noticed any noteworthy changes to my skin. So although this hydration mask sounds great in theory, its execution is definitely lacking. So I'm sad to report that I won't be repurchasing this in the future. So what's your verdict? Have you had a good or bad experience with this 10 minute hydration mask? And my purpose of creating this channel is to connect with a health conscious where we discuss and learn together about the efficacy and potential hazards in the beauty and personal products that we all use daily. So I truly hope that this information was helpful for you to decide whether to buy or continue using Origins Drink Up 10 Minute Hydration Mask. Be smart, be beautiful, and be well all at the same time. If you would be so kind, please help me grow by liking, commenting, and sharing my videos to your friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to join our health conscious community so you won't miss future analysis videos. That's it for now, inner beauties. See you all in the next video.